Hey guys, what is up? It's Wolf, your one and only, and today I'm going to be playing Grand Fantasia. Now, I have not played this game in a while, I'm just revisiting it, so we're going to see if anything's changed or if it's still the same. Either way it goes, I'll be happy to replay this game and, you know, get into it a little. So it seems they have new servers, one for PvP, so that's pretty much just like a standard PvP server. Once you go in, you're just going to fight anybody you want. I'm pretty sure they have like safe zones and all that are the towns they have other ones but I don't understand what these are they have US and a world chat which is pretty much like everybody can just get in that chat I'm just gonna choose US and we're gonna create our character now this game is nothing like um, other games that X legend has made to where you can like change your character right on the spot well change your class right on the spot you have to choose one class and that's it so we're gonna put in our name wolf mmo seems like they still got the candor yes yeah, seems like they still got the standard faces yeah what well, i'm gonna choose this guy is like me. I'm always sleepy. Oh, green eyes though. I guess we'll just go for the normal ones. Hair color. Let's look at the skin. Now we'll go back to hair. Yeah, they still got the standard stuff. They didn't change too much. Pretty sure they added in a lot of in-game items, though. Mm. Now let's just go with that one. I don't ever remember seeing this hair, though. So it seems like they added in, like, one new hair. Okay, I remember seeing that hair. Don't remember seeing this one. We're gonna go with that one. Oh, we can show hats for when we start clicking over here. Seems like they added in a new engineer class. Oh my god, I might check that out. Okay, now your sprite is pretty much like your pet that crafts everything for you, which is like really awesome. But you have to keep your sprite up to date with all your gears, so pretty much each level you go to, you have to keep your sprite up to that level of crafting so you can keep getting newer armor and newer. So I'm going to choose... Huh. What am I going to name you? Uh, I'm just going to name you Jet. Why not? Now, you can change to whatever you want your class to be. Like this one, he would start making axes. This one, you start making hammers, etc, etc. But this one just makes anything, just like makes the standard like materials and all that. I always go for that one because I can just find another pet and just make it. So, yeah, wait, what is that? Yeah, this one makes mechanical weapons. Oh, this is gonna be weird. Heavy... cannon? Oh, they made demolitions too? Wow. They added in two new classes. Okay. Now I'm actually really interested. I'm not sure how far in the game you can get, like, a mechanical weapon though. Hmm. Screw it. I'm just gonna go with the normal crafting material. There it is. You can change what he looks like too. He's just like so down on the list you can't even see him though. Give him some of those eyes. And just color. Yep, they got green. We are good. Now, engineer has a hammer. And so he's pretty much like a warrior class, it looks like. Oh wow. So it's pretty much like a gunner class. This is weird seeing that. They have 
Berserker. Paladin. Uh, Ranger. Assassin. Cleric. Sage, which is pretty much like transforming and still healing. These two are pro both support classes. And Wizard and Necro. Mancer. Demolist is like just Demo Man, but more of a gunner looking class. I'm not sure which class I want to go with though. Because these two engineer classes, eh, kind of look alright, but. Ability to use mech armors. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Just have to go in and see what we actually do. Doesn't seem like they changed the intro at all. The nostalgia of playing this game. Yep, that's Power of Sage. Transforming into wolves and a bird, and I'm pretty sure an ape. Necromancer can summon quite a few things, but he can't like multiple summon. He can only summon one at a time. All I remember, the hardest class was to start out with was Archer, because you had to literally be far away from your enemies just to shoot. If you're up close and personal, you had to use, like, um, what was it? You had to use, like, your dual weapons, or a, a sword, or dual swords. I guess that was just mainly, where did these come from? We never used to have daily logins, what? That's interesting, they changed a lot of things. Hey, I'm kinda glad I came back to the game. They changed out our um, HP bar too, it didn't used to look like that. And we're gonna grab our quest here. And I remember you guys. What is up, Jelly Rabbits? I shall defeat you once again. I used to play a lot of Grand Fantasia. Like hours and hours of Grand Fantasia. But now. I don't know why I stopped playing it. I just. Just because it got so grindy and it kind of got difficult to find friends to actually fight with. I guess that's one reason why I stopped playing it. Okay, one thing I want to do is show you guys the little pet system. So, pretty much your pet just gathers material from mines and like a forest and going to hunt animals and all that for their fur I'm gonna grab rocks because our next quest is gonna have it I remember some of the quests too yeah, it has quite a different look how about the settings is everything still the same I could change the detail yep so it has the normal Graphics and everything. Let's turn everything up. All right. Uh, that that actually looks really weird. Um, I regret doing like that effect. Yeah, depth effect gotta go. Okay, there we go. Audio, others. Choose your mouse sensitivity, targets, and all that. Font size. I want to change it, but I don't know how to change that. Oh well. But our buddy is done, like, looking for stuff. He got the rocks. Now we're gonna go for... Just picking up those. Alright, we got one more rabbit we need to find. I'm gonna move this. No, I can't. I don't think I can move that. That's weird.
So I'm going to try and move my camera and everything down so you guys can, like, see. Oh, there we go. Now you guys can see my HP and everything, and we're good to go. Okay. Now there is auto tracking. You just had to push the little quest button. The little blue, yellow quest button. Don't judge me. Anywho, we're gonna talk to this guy. So I'll play for like another, like probably for 19 minutes. We're gonna be playing for 30 minutes. That's all. I'm making everything more complicated than it used to be. Talk to the sprite. Mining. So. Pretty much what you do is choose one of them of which your character has. And I chose mining since my character has, well since my sprite has mining. Now this is your sprite's happiness. He's normal right now, normal. The sprite's happiness, happiness can go up by items and just by getting like events for when you collect items. Pretty much just telling this to anybody who has not played the game before. Uh, which one? Physical attack, match for that. I don't know which one I'm gonna choose. Probably choose physical. Why not? Alright, now that we got that, we're gonna move on. Which is all the way down here. Oh god, my. So, pretty sure you guys have noticed, like, the green sheet behind me. I'm gonna probably have a green screen along with some, like, better lighting. But that'll be, like, I don't know, probably next week or two weeks from now. Who knows? Uh, not really sure when I'm gonna do all that. I might get an extra monitor. Because I'm using, like, an old CRT monitor for my second monitor. I could have a third. Who knows? Hopefully. Unless the CRT monitor craps out on me one day. Alright. I'm gonna start equipping my stuff. I can go ahead and throw that out. And sort. Now, if you're wondering what little furniture is up for, it's for your sprite. Which I will show you guys as soon as he's done. Alright, he's done. So, what you pretty much do is go to detail and just start putting it in. You can't drag, I forgot about that. You can only, like, click it once and it just hooks on. This is also for your sprites. For when they're fighting with you, you get these bonuses. As you see, I'm not getting a bonus right now. But if I was to, like, have him out here fighting with me, which I can do by right clicking and summoning him, now he's fighting with me. And now I have that bonus under me. I'm gonna put him away because that, because the longer he's out, the more energy he uses. So I want him to continue collecting things because it comes up crucial in like other quests. Alright buddy, I'm going to need you to die. Remember um, back then, Archer class was like the hardest one to level, but at the same time, it was like a force to be reckoned with inside of PvP. So it was kind of like a high reward thing as you level. Alright, I just got a new quest. I'll turn it in after I finish these guys off. Your goal as archer was pretty much just to stay away from every last enemy in your face. 
So they encouraged you to play with a teammate until you got, like, to Ranger or Assassin. Alright, onward. So we pretty much go over to this guy, and... Alright, he's done. Sweet. The event pops up, and... Now he's a lot happier. So that's one thing that increases his mood when events come by. But there are bad events that come by and like decreases his energy and his happiness. So you gotta watch out for those. There's no way of avoiding them though, sadly. There's even some of them that just take like a huge chunk of his energy. So then you have to wait until he like just gradually restores it. It restores fairly fast for energy. I can't believe I actually remember a crap ton of things. It's funny, it's funny because I don't see any more bots in the game. Alright. I forgot, you can't like, right click and move. This is like an old traditional MMO, so... You don't have anything to have. You don't have the things you normally have inside the now MMOs. This one just pretty much, pretty much just click and shoot and get hit. What the hell, man? Why'd you stop? There you go. Alright, I need to move this out of that bar and get it right there. Because that is for when I... I'm in trouble and I need to flee from a battle. Alright, next. I can just do those anytime. Hey, buddy. This is the guy who gives us our um, class selection. I can't get one right now. Knowing me, I'll probably go Sage or something. Hey, 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 where are you going? Jesus, why'd you run all the way down there? Seems like the tracking got really weird in this game. The map still looks pretty good. Oh, the dragons are up there. The deer should be down here. Man, this game brings back a lot of nostalgia. Alright, we should level before we even get over there. This guy should level us. Alright, so we pretty much got everything we need. Now we're gonna go kill some deers. But first, we're gonna go... Well, you know, I did not level, so I guess I forgot you have to kill at least two deers or two or three, then you level. Fight me. Alright. He's collected some more stuff, but sadly he didn't get the, um, like, uncut rocks. But, yeah, you have a chance of getting the rare things or the uncommon stuff, etc, etc. I forgot I had another skill. Now we're gonna go talk to this guy so we can actually get our class of what we want to play. Not really sure what weapons are in the game. Uh, is there still the archive? Yep, they still got the old archive. We got a little bit of old costumes in here. A lot of them that I remember. That is one I don't remember. I 
kind of want to turn down a... Yeah. I have it too high. Pretty much still looks the same. So, yeah. There's no point in having like high. Medium is just fine. God, this song. Always welcome me, me back to the game. Sorry if I can't like get words out right now. Funny because me and Hollow were supposed to be playing games, but you know, I don't know where he is. Mechanic. But it doesn't have a path of mechanic. It's just mechanic, that's it. Hmm. Hold on, let me see what costume they have. Oh, oh nope. Very wrong. L archive. Um where are outfits? I can scroll all the way down. I guess that's their costume. Interesting. Yep, engineer. And that's dim demo. Do they have the hats too? Uh, I guess not. Hmm. Oh well. What about the weapons? Yep, they have one of them. Like a giant pistol, but you're holding it in a different way. Pretty much like um that gun that gunner class from Elsword, which I haven't played for a while. I might revisit that too. That's an engineer sword. I might choose engineer. Yeah, let's go with engineer. Why not? Because engineer is a new class technically, so what would be the point of not doing that? We got our new skills here. I can learn these. Nuclear bomb. Oh yeah, I forgot. Some skills like give you charge points, which is right under your H. Well, right under your uh, mana. So. As you're using certain skills that give charge points, you're able to use, like, a more powerful skill. So we're gonna learn these skills. Okay. Okay. Come on. weird. Oh, okay, there it is. It went behind the freaking thing. If I can click it. Now I'm gonna go to my skills and put these in. Why do I keep trying to drag everything? Nuclear and this gives one charge too, so move this back. Does this give a charge? Nah, it doesn't give a charge. It's just a normal thing. Alright, so we can open our little packs here. Here are our unique costumes. This one is for female, so I'm just going to put that in my archive. Whoops, I forgot. I have to drag it and put it right here. Now it's in my archive. Now, I have two talents, and one of the pack. Let's open this, and I'm going to take the axe, or hammer. This one is talent, so... Hmm. Oh god.
So I can't wait to test out these little starter skills. But first, I gotta go talk to this guy. Now this is the other weapon, which we'll take a look at in a few s minutes or seconds. Oh, you can, you can actually equip both of them. Interesting. So, let's see. We can talk to this guy to leave, but we're not going to do that yet. What the hell? Okay, that was weird. We're going to ignore that and pretend like that didn't happen. So there's some quests that won't like automatically take you to a certain point. You have to like pretty much just run there. Just because they're enemies, you have to go search for the enemies. So it's going to be a little long walk. And the armor looks pretty weird though. I could throw away this sword. I won't be needing it. But I can put this stuff on you. You. There you go. I was going to craft my talent, but yeah. I'll do that when I go back. Because I'm pretty sure I'm still going to have to go back. So kill some of these deers from far away. Yeah, the gun acts. Okay, the gun is pretty much like a one-shot kill. Jeez, not even an archer did that much damage. This is even give me like a chance to even test out the skills. I guess I'll use the skills and see what they look like. We're gonna be playing until we get off the island, guys. Then that'll be the end of my first impression. Pretty sure I gotta beat the boss and I should be good. But there's still quite a few quests. Now we're gonna cast this spell on you. Okay, that still just looks like a standard this attack. Alright, where am I going? Take me. Oh, nope, oh, wrong way. Oh yeah, you have to go all the way around. Then you have to go up a slope. So I should keep uh, crafting with you, sir. I do need uh, uncuts, so gotta keep getting those, bro. Yep, I'm still just one-shotting everything. Don't mind me. Easiest quest ever. Oh my god, that range. Hope they changed everything for Archer to where he could shoot, like, in front of people. If so, that would be amazing, and I would actually go back to Archer class. We'll go ahead and work all over here and talk to the little girl or little boy. Which one was it? Pretty sure it was a little girl. Yep. Jasmine. And we get our first little backpack here. Yeah, I like these standard weapons and stuff that they give you. But these are costumes, pretty much. You don't have to worry too much about them. I might choose the um, bow just to make it look like I'm like shooting or maybe? wonder what it'll do. It's gonna be interesting to try out. I mean there's nothing really on that list that I want to do but I mean a hammer would be nice but eh. Alright, so now we're gonna go fight the boss and let's see, you know, how much damage he can take or how much damage this thing can deal out. Okay, that was weird. Okay. 
We're not even gonna question it. That's kind of weird because some of his skills do damage, some of them don't. Oh, target's too close. That's what it was. Yeah, they still have the same old system to where if your target's too close, you can't use anything. I'm gonna bring out these potions because they counters their own separate ones because they're like exclusive ones that you can get from this card. The card is pretty much like a level box. But he deals a fair good amount of damage. It's only that I need more like melee attacks at the moment. But that sucks. And I don't know what was going up going on, but he was kept like jumping back. I don't think the skill is supposed to do that, but Oh no. He he leaps back ten feet. Well, 10 meters. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I was confused. I thought that wasn't what the skill does. This one is like the most weirdest one. Creates like these little orbs. It appears nuclear bomb gives a um, skill too. Well, gives a point too. So I don't have to worry about that. This one consumes one rechargeable, so this one is technically, like, the skill that requires them. I don't know, the game is actually pretty weird with this class. But I like when they try something new. It's a good thing that to see that uh, Grand Fantasia is still updating and still giving a lot, of, a lot of more new content to it, so... Pretty happy about that. Now we're gonna go talk to our friend and get their our item. Then we should be able to head out. Probably just gonna choose the um, hammer. So during the early game, you get your own costumes and everything. Pretty standard. Yeah. You know what, I could get the hammer, I could get the sword. Which one? Which one? We'll see. Hope you get like something pretty amazing with this class. Hmm. Interesting class though. So just walking back here, going to talk to our knight friend. Sorry for all like that cuttings because the game is like acting pretty weird it like feels unresponsive for me at times so I just have to keep cutting it out all right so so I got to pick one of these eh. could stick with the theme but who wants to do that and the bows doesn't even look all that nice yeah I'm getting this And now we have a title that has, like, some kind of perk to him. Some of the titles have perks to him, some of them don't. Alright, now we got our beautiful hammer. Wait, oh yeah, you have other things for us, don't you? Let's go craft our card that we really need right now. I'm gonna craft the hitting one, because... That's the one we need more often. Wait, no, I think we can craft both of them, actually. Hey, you. Let's craft. Thanks for the quest. Now I just put one of these scrolls, and I'll put this one. Craft our first one. Alright, we finished our first one, and now we're gonna finish our second one, if we can grab it here. Man, a lot of unresponsive right now, bro. Alright. Now, I believe these go into here. Yep. Now, our sprite had their own sacred bags, too. So, do remember, if you're wondering where it goes, it just went inside here. Yeah, there's extra movement speed and attack speed. 
I'm gonna choose that one. So now we pretty much just depart, and we're all good. So, yeah. Nostalgia was fun, but it's time to move on. I'm gonna go here because I always love going to, you know, starting out in this area. So, that's the end of revisiting Grand Fantasia for now, guys. Thanks for watching, and pretty much going to be revisiting some other games, but at this moment I'm going to go play um, Twin Saga and get out part three. So with that said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.